Hello there, I'm Vitor and I'm here to tell you how to make your own barcode. For that, you just need to download the software I created myself. You just need to click in the link below, right here in the description of this video and download the software. Before we start the video, if you want to have more information about technology and companies, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The first thing you need to know is if your country allows you to have your own free barcode and allows you to sell to someone, resell your product. In some countries, if you want people to resell your product, you need to buy a barcode from GS1 and there is nothing you can do about it. But in most of the countries, they allow you to have your own barcode for free and sell your own store. In my country, Brazil, as far as I know, you can sell your product with your own free barcode, wherever you want. So if you want to know how to have your own barcode, please check this video right here. Here from the computer, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. The first thing you need to do is download Java if you don't have it on your computer. My software works wherever you want. It works on Windows, Linux or MacBook. If you are on Linux or MacBook, you can go to the store of the company and you can go there and download and install Java. If you are on Windows, you can go to this website right here, java.com, and install Java from this button. Just click on the button and install the latest version of Java. It's pretty easy. The second thing you need to do after download and install Java is to unpack the file I sent to you. So after you unpack it, you're gonna see these files right here. The main file is barcodeprinter.jar. So run the software. If you click twice, or click on enter, you can just run the software and see this window. This window just shows the barcode, the name of the product, and the price. If you click on print, you're gonna see another window, already done with the barcode, the name, and the price of the product. I'm sure Brazil Nuts is not your product, so right now I'm going to show you how to change the number and the name of the product. As far as I'm going to show you how to change the price. To change the values of your product, you just need to close this window and get back to the main window. The first thing you need to do is to change the numbers. So let's change from one to two. One to two. If you print it, you already have another barcode ending with two. The last number is created by the algorithm. So always use 12 characters. If you are using, for example, 13, it's not going to work, right? So just use 12. You can change any number from zero to 12, okay? So let's change another number, this one, one, for example, and print, you're gonna have another barcode. So let's change the name of the product. Let's change to pen, for example, and change the price, change to two dollars. And print, you're gonna have another product, another barcode. It's pretty easy. Right now, I'm going to show you how to save the barcode and print whatever you want. To save the file, to print your barcode, whatever you want, just need to click on the main window, print, in this window right here, you can click on the first button, save, or you can print the file already to your printer on A4 paper. But you can save it first. Click here. You can use, this is a, this is a pen, pen, barcode printer, PDF, and save. Okay, I already have a pen right there. And I'm going to open the pen. If you open the file, you're gonna see the barcode, the name of the product, and the price. If you want to change anything else, you can import the PDF file into a CorelDRAW or Illustrator, for example. If you are a designer, it's pretty easy to do. If you are not, you can ask someone to do it. But if you are not used to Illustrator or Corel Draw, you can print the screen and paste it on Word, for example, on Paint or whatever software you are used to do. So 
it's pretty easy. If the software doesn't run for the first time, there is another file that can help you. This file right here, if something is wrong, just click on it. You're gonna see this black window right here and the software. If something is really wrong, it's gonna be printed in this black window and you can print a screen, you can print screen and you can send to me and I'm going to help you. I'm going to put the information you can send to me, my mail or something, right here in the description of this video. Thanks for watching this video until the end. I hope I helped you. And if you want more information, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time.